Greetings, Minecrafters, <clears throat> and welcome to another oh, exciting discussion in the woods today. It is so gorgeous, I don't even have words. I think it's about eight, maybe not quite eight o'clock in the morning, and it's so beautiful. I think we just heard a beaver splashing around, wanting to play with Giovanni, or actually he wanted to play with her, but we kept going, just because, you know, I don't know. Um, anywho, actually, I saw a beaver walking across the road the other day, which is weird, they're usually out at dusk, but... She was flapping right, you know, a little tail, like, right across the road. Thankfully, it was a slow area, and everybody stopped. So, anyway, um, my name is Kimberly Quinn, and I am super, super excited to have this talk with you. We're back there right now. It's really cool. It is to, not, don't let anything worry you. Don't let anything worry you. You're probably saying, oh, yeah, you don't know my life. I may not know the context of your life, but I know how the brain works. And the thing is... Um, <clears throat> Anxiety, it's kind of like we have it down. We know we know what it is. We know how it works. We know, we know where it resides. So the mystery isn't, well, the mystery is solved. You know, we know what it is. So basically, we have to learn how to manage it is the thing. And you're like, duh, I know that, right? Well, how come it's still so hard for me? Well, it's still so hard. <clears throat> and granted, it's complicated. And because we are unique snowflakes, it's not going to look the same on any, on any two people. Just like you know, anxiety, uh, sorry, anxiety, depression, ADHD, autism, it's all going to look different on different people. And also there's the whole spectrum thing of, you know, a little nervous to <clears throat> can't get out of bed, you know, can't get out of bed or out the door to work or school or whatever. So there's going to be a range there. And once again, my disclaimer is none of these videos are meant to take the place of professional treatment. None of them. They're meant to be you know, informational and hopefully, you know, help some people and definitely go well with therapy. Okay, so here's the thing. Since we know anxiety is a brain thing, that in and of itself is relief because we know that it, it's just like if somebody has diabetes or somebody has anything else, that that means it's not your fault, right? However, actually, that was a good metaphor or analogy or whatever because somebody with diabetes also, it's just, it, it happened, right? Especially if it's type one, it's just genetic, right? And anxiety is partially genetic too and so um but the diabetic has to manage it right with good diet and exercise if they're type one they have to do insulin which is another analogy with some some people may need medication in addition to all the strategies and and also therapists that's a really good analogy actually but we also don't shame a diabetic like loser what'd you do to your pancreas you know how come you're not producing insulin we wouldn't say i mean obviously right so and, and if anything um we are supportive of our family and friends who have diabetes and helping them along the way, you know, just, okay, how about we go here for lunch and you just take it on yourself to go to someplace better. Well, we can also do that with anxiety, you know, to help people shift out of their thinking without even it, without it even being obvious. Okay. So here's the thing, our very high vibe selves, you know, want, and it's a paradox because there's like, when we, when we say, oh, I just talked to myself or I just, what I was thinking about that, that's, there's like, there's like, it's like a duality, like two of us almost, right? So our high vibe self is always high vibe underneath there. The authentic self, the divine self within us is at that frequency. So when we're feeling badly, um, that's that's the other part of us who's not in alignment with, with, a, with you know, the authentic self, you know, underneath the real true you, the high vibe true you. And just remember that we do have choice here. Like, oh, you don't know my life. So I, I didn't say it was easy. I said it was simple. It is this simple. We know what anxiety is. We know where it resides. We know what it does. We know how to deal with it. it there is no more mystery there. There just isn't. And so it comes down to part of, part of it is to re re realize and remember that just like out in life, we can make bad choices. We can make bad choices with our thinking because the brain loves patterns. And so each and every time we allow it to go down a dark hole, it gets more familiar, more familiar, and like a snowball picking up speed, you know, it just gains momentum until it's tougher to stop it, right? And so just like early intervention also in any other way, just like we would say with kids, you know, catching, if we sort of can sniff out autism or ADHD or anxiety, whatever, in a smaller child or a learning difference or whatever, the sooner we get on it, the higher the quality Oh, some, somebody's back there, the quality, the higher their quality of life and how things will be easier for them the earlier we get on it because then they can learn how to manage whatever it is they have, even if they don't have a label for it, which they don't really need to have it, you know, young. 
Um, but we, so the same thing with our, with our thinking, early intervention, the sooner we nip it in the bud, the easier, um, it'll be for us. And of course, whatever we practice, we inevitably get better at just like practicing the violin or whatever. We say that a lot. Why? Because it's true. So the whole thing is paying attention to how we feel, paying attention to how we feel because thoughts come first and feelings come second. So if we're feeling, let's say unsafe, emotionally unsafe or whatever, um, emotionally unsafe what we're really saying is we feel vulnerable we feel vulnerable we feel um like we're we're, we're out there like something you know the what if things all the what if gamut of thinking of this could happen that could happen you know play and then we start and then we start to create narratives for ourselves and we play out you know whatever worst case scenarios so that you know if whatever ha happens then we're ready you know like a shortstop in ready position okay and so here's the thing the sooner we can learn, and it is, it is a learning curve, it's just about like anything else, being in school and getting what's on, what the professor or teacher is getting on the, saying on the board, when we really get it and incorporate it into our lives, things will get easier. So getting it that these negative feelings are coming from negative thoughts, we can then make better choices about we're thinking what we're thinking about. And we've got to turn it around because it's that snowball thing. Remember that about... 95 to 96% of what we think, feel, and do every single day is unconscious. So if that worry circuit loop, that what if, what if, what if, what if she says, what if I lose my job? What if I don't get the promotion? What if I don't get the house? What if I can't, you know, what if I don't, what if this date doesn't go well? Da, 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 da. Okay, we've, we've, the sooner we choose to turn that around, the better, okay? So it doesn't mean just toss all your emotions aside because we've got to, We've got to validate ourselves. But remember, we said that once we validate, um, just like when I practice mindfulness, if there's an anxious thought that goes by, I will say to myself, oh, it must be I'm feeling anxious today. OK, so what? Who cares? Welcome to the human race. Let it go. And and the thing is, or whatever it is, the situation that's whatever happened in your life at work or whatever to validate it. But it's really important to not reside there. OK, this thing happened. So and so was on a power trip, said stuff, did stuff. That's about them, not me. And I and I know I'm I'm, I'm, sim I'm making it, it is simple. I'm not saying that it isn't hurtful. Whatever happened is hard. We're not saying that. Acknowledge that it was hurtful and hard. Then though, then it's important to take your power back because if you need for things to be okay out here, that means you don't have control over it. We want to, we want to take our power back as far as our thinking. We may not be able to actually control who gets what promotion or who gets and who knows and whose niece got this and whatever. We may not, may not be able to control the outside, right? But we can control how we choose to think about it because what we think expands no matter what it expands. So, uh, and then that leads to the feelings. So the feelings are kind of like a temperature taker or a barometer or something for knowing what's going on in the cabeza. How we feel is the direct sort of side effect of what's going on in here. So we don't, have to we can we can stop ourselves from worrying again complicated though this is a this is the truth this is the facts we are we are we are not our thoughts they're like little thought bubbles until we allow them until we reside there then we become what we think so it's kind of like it sounds like oh she's saying two different things no I'm not because the feelings aren't facts. So those feelings we're feeling are indicating what our thoughts are. But all the what ifs of I might not get this, I might not get the promotion, blah, 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 those none of that's factual. It's just this monkey chatter going on in in uh, the limbic system of the brain, which is where anxiety, the worry circuit resides. So when we talk back to that, picture ourselves with the best case scenario. Just we just have to keep at it, kind of like um, just keep at it, like good old fashioned grit. And picture yourself in a better situation. We can actually consciously consciously choose our thoughts. So if we're not feeling well, we're in that place of fear. It's because um, it's it's because we're not we're not making good choices about our thinking. Again, I'm not, I'm not saying hard things in life. Obviously, hard things in life happen. So so this will depend on where that is on the spectrum, right? For most things, for most regular daily things that are not emergencies this knowledge will help for most things this will help obviously gigantic things and all that are, are, are a little bit need a little bit are a lot more a lot more attention this is about realizing 
that our thoughts expand. We do, we, we, we can make better choices with our thinking. 